All right. A little bit of happy news for me. I don't know about all y'all haters, but Dak Prescott has agreed to a record $240 million uh, over four years with the Dallas Cowboys. Now, this is uh, from ESPN to both Todd Archer and Adam Schefter uh, wrote this story. The Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott have agreed to a four-year, $240 million contract extension that will make the star quarterback the highest paid player in NFL history and keep him in a Cowboys uniform through 2028, owner and general manager Jerry Jones said on Sunday. The deal includes a $231 million guarantee, which is the most in league history. Deshaun Watson's fully guaranteed deal with the Cleveland Browns were $230, and he got $231. Uh, the record-setting deal comes hours before Dallas' season opener in Cleveland against the Browns, after the Cowboys and Prescott engaged in negotiations throughout the weekend, sources told ESPN. Ironically, following the announcement of the steal, Dak Prescott led the Cowboys to a dominating route of the Browns with a 33-17 win. I know that these numbers are beyond anything that I could have ever imagined, Jones said, of the guaranteed money in Prescott's deal. The $60 million average annual value of Prescott's contract is the highest in NFL history, easily surpassing recent deals worth $55 million in average uh, annual value signed by Cincinnati's Burrow, Green Bay's Love, Jacksonville's Lawrence. Prescott also received a record $80 million signing bonus, passing Jordan Love's previous high of $75 million. There's a lot of me that thinks that I hope Dak is our quarterback for the rest of my time, Jones said, and that it's not just limited to the terms of this contract either. I have a lot of confidence in him. He brings so much to the table. He's a player that the team follows. That's big. This was the thing to do for what we're here for, and that is to win a championship, Jones said. I know our fans know that. I'm surprised that anyone would think that any sort of, they might disagree with the decision, but anything short of, A commitment is just not the case with me. I gave everything I had or hoped to have to get a chance to be a part of the Cowboys, and it's beyond my fondest dreams where we stand today. Less than two weeks, the Cowboys were able to make Prescott the highest-paid quarterback in the NFL and make CeeDee Lamb the league's second-highest-paid wide receiver, securing both players through 2028. The Prescott deal also helped the Cowboys avert a potential salary cap mess and keep them from needing to find a franchise quarterback either through free agency trade or the draft in 2025. The path to the largest contract in Cowboys history was not as long as the first time Prescott signed the biggest contract in team history, but it still had some drama. Prescott had been set to play this season on the final year of a four-year $160 million deal that he signed in 2021. Cowboys and Prescott had been unable to find common ground since the start of the past offseason, but they entered the weekend with the knowledge that they would try and work it out before the season kicked off. By agreeing to a deal Sunday, the Cowboys prevented Prescott from becoming a free agent next winter. Thanks to the no trade and no franchise tag clause in his previous contract, Prescott would have had to hit would have hit the open market as a rarity in the NFL, a no strings attached quarterback in the prime of his career. Prescott has directed the Cowboys to the postseason five times in his career, 2016, 2018, 2021 through 2023, but has not gotten past the divisional round. Last season, the Cowboys were bounced by the Packers in the wild card round. While Prescott threw for 403 yards and three touchdown passes, he was intercepted twice by Green Bay. Last time the Cowboys won a championship was Super Bowl 30 with Aikman as their quarterback. The last time the Cowboys made the NFC championship was for the 1995 season. Only the Washington Commanders have a longer NFC title game drought than the Cowboys. Prescott has embraced the pressure of trying to deliver a Super Bowl and living up to the standard of Hall of Fame Roger Staubach and Aikman have set. Okay, look, I said this all summer. What are your other options? First of all, and that's I don't mean to say that it's just disrespect to Dak. If anything, let's put respect on Dak's name. Not only has he been able to, you know, all you heard all of the amount of times being able to go to the playoffs, and you can have a whole other conversation about doing more than just going to the playoffs. It's very Peyton Manning pre Super Bowl situation here. Dak was second in MVP voting and made second team All Pro. As Lashawn McCoy loves to say all the time, that's really hard to do. That's incredibly hard to do, so you got to put respect on his name for doing that. Now, all that being said, what I do want to see is, like, him now, you got your money, CD got his money, we're going to have to pay Micah next year, it's time to step up and do what needs to be done and take it to the next level. And I believe with Mike Zimmer, we were I was concerned by losing Dan Quinn, but I think having Mike Zimmer come in and really tighten up what the defense is doing Uh, and making them look even more lethal than they potentially did last year, that's huge. And I need them to keep that up during big games. I think having Diggs back after his season-ending injury, having him back is huge. You know, I think Dak is only going to get further along with CD. CD maybe wasn't at training camp, 
but CD got jacked. And you saw how he was able to muscle people a little bit more, but kept his agility. There was a nice little toe tap where he jumped out of the way. I think that this duo can do it, and they have the pieces around them. I think having Zeke back, that's Dak's best friend. Back in the locker room, he looked like he had fresh legs and was doing the damn thing. I think the team is built to actually make some noise. Now, I'm not going to get my heart up because every single time I do that, I feel like Charlie Brown with Lucy in the football, and my ass just immediately just, ah! like, I'm not going to do all that. But I will say I think by having the contracts done and Dak and CD have both proven that they have got the talent and the skill to put up numbers, I think that this is finally a step to go forward. And I think that if it doesn't work out this year, you get rid of McCarthy, you bring in Belichick, man, and let him be the final thing to whip everything in shape and do what it is. Or maybe there's another coach on the horizon that can do it, but that's one that kind of sticks out in my mind as like a prestige job that you know Belichick could come in. And, and do the damn thing. But I'm very curious to see what this team is capable of. That routing of, of Cleveland was incredible. I think it's equal parts. Deshaun is terrible and also might be losing his contract. You, there's another story. You can go look it up. But potentially, because he has a new lawsuit out, if he didn't disclose that information, uh, people are pointing out to a, point, a clause in his contract that he could actually get that fully guaranteed contract voided. So go and check that out. Uh, I think CBS Sports did the, that article. Uh, but you can Google it. But I'm curious to see what the Cowboys are going to do. I'm curious what you think. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of Dak and Cowboy haters in the comments. It is what it is. I've heard it all. Whatever. Um, but I genuinely think, who else is it going to be? Trey Lance has proven he ain't the guy. And, and, and you know, maybe he'll continue to develop and get better. And for his sake, just because I like him as a person, hopefully he'll get there one day. But... You weren't going to be bad enough to go get somebody at the top of the draft. This was the year to get the quarterbacks because there were so many to choose from. Nobody was just going to be on the open market or you were going to have to trade for something crazy. So unless somebody had a secret plan to get Patrick Mahomes, I, I genuinely think that this was the correct move here. Um, and, and, I'm, and I'm very excited to see what Dak will do to take it to the next level because I believe that he can. I believe at the very least before Dak is at it, he will get us to the NFC Championship game. I want to cross my fingers and and pray to every god that we win another super bowl but at the very least i do think dak will at least get us to an nfc championship game he'll break that drought i i, I you know and that that's what i will say at least before this is all said and done he will pull that off that i believe but i want to know what you think again tell me in the comments